Hi everyone, so I don't know why, but I just had this urge to make this video. Basically, what's been going on is I've been kind of uh, doing this experiment. Um, I joined the Mormon church to see if what people were saying was just bullshit or if it was true or, you know, I just had to see for myself. And um, the thing that I have to say is that some of the stuff that people say is definitely not true. Like, they're not as creepy or as awful as some people say. Like, uh, they don't, and they don't believe some weird shit that people say. They don't, they really don't believe they get their own planet. Um, and they, they you know, that, well, that's like the big thing people think they believe and they don't, and they don't believe in pol polygamy either. That's just the fundamentalists. They are, they do have some weird things that they do that I would like to talk about. So, um, first of all, uh, when I, I noticed that when I was about to join, or when I first joined, uh, everyone was like so happy and so nice, and they're, oh my gosh, you're so great, you're so, oh, we, we appreciate you, and we're part of a family, and uh, yada, 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 you know, all that bullshit, and um, then, like, you know, the longer I was a member, just the, the colder people got, like, they, they just kind of were like, oh, uh, oh, hi, Rose, like, it just faded away pretty, pretty quickly, actually, but another thing I noticed is that they slowly but surely try and get you to do more, like, you know, I was raised Catholic, so I'm not really used to, this is gonna sound weird, bad, but, um, I'm not used to doing a lot for my church, and I don't mean that in, like, a selfish way, but it's, like, basically, the one, the one thing I like about the church, I'm against religion now, like, of all kind, and I don't believe in anything, but the one thing I like about that is, like, the Catholic church is just the church, they don't, they don't force you to do anything, um, it's, like, this is just, it's just church, uh, come if you want, you don't have to pay money, uh, only if you want to, and they really don't force much on you. So that's one thing I really like but about the Catholic Church. The Mormon Church is not like that. Um, you, what they started to do was, like, at first, it's like, oh, no worries, you know, like I said, they were really, really kind at first. Um, and then, um, eventually they were just like, oh, well, now, now, you know, you gotta... We're, we really want to make sure you're paying your tithing, so let's set up this account. And oh, we we want to um, we we need to find a calling for you, so you got to um, teach some classes. Um, you know, oh, and then like if I don't show up to church, well, well, we, I just want you to know that we really miss you at church, and and you know, and it sounds nice, but like it was really manipulation tactics. That's basically the only time. Like I said, they get really cold after a while. Um, and it's like when you stop is when they're nice. Once you're doubting things, then they try and suck you in with their niceness. Like they kiss your ass to get you to join because you think it's some great community. And they do have a nice community, but it's also a little bit weird and creepy. And it's not for everyone. If you if you don't like fall for the niceness, they uh they guilt trip you. They 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 they're like, well, you, you know, how do you how do you think God would is feeling right now? You know, they really guilt trip you. They they make you feel like you're not a good person if you're not doing every single thing that they want you to do. And that's one thing that I just I can't get behind. And I went to the temple. And that's not as creepy as people say. It's really no different than other church gatherings. But then again, I've never really gone to the real rituals there. I've only been to, like, um, baptisms for the dead, which is, sounds creepy, but it's not. It's not creepy compared to any other religion. I, I just think religion is crap anyway. Another thing about the church is it's, it is it is pretty sexist. Like, one thing I noticed, and I don't know if this is just my ward, but the girls tried 
really, really hard to get any guy to notice them and to like them. And, like, all the girls were super competitive, you know, with, around each other. And that was one issue with me that I really, that was one thing I really didn't. The guys could be really ugly and have a bad personality on top of that. And they were like the pickiest assholes on the planet. They'd be like, oh, she's not my type. Meanwhile, they're like fat, they, they have greasy hair, they have pimples all over their face, they, they're, they have just, they're not, and they're jerks too on top of it. And they're acting like they're like, you know, Chris Hemsworth or something and they could, they get their pick, you know? And that's really how it was. And these, there's these pretty little naive girls and they're like super insecure thinking, uh, well, you know, whatever guy picks me, I, I'm just lucky to be with him. And that, I'm not like that. I don't think I have to push other girls down or like, I don't think it's a competition. I think the right guy for me is going to like me and the right guy for someone else is going to like them. That's just how I think. So I never got into the super competitive thing. And I always thought that was weird. And yeah, I've just never been friends with girls for that reason anyway, in general, but Mormons date a lot. They go on a lot of dates, and I don't, I, that's another thing I don't get, it's just like forced upon you to go on dates if you're Mormon, and it's because you're going to get married, but it's like, well, if you're, if you're going to get married, the, the real way is by going on stupid little dates, it's by not forcing it and being friends with someone and finding someone you really click with, and I don't think that going on these stupid little dates is the way to do that. Anyway, I'm going into all these little rants, but the situation that happened to me my friend was like, let's go on a double date, we'll, we'll, we'll find you a date, we'll find you a date, and we'll go on a double date, and it'll be really fun, and I was like, uh, okay, I'm new to this Mormon thing, so why not, may as well try it out, it, it went pretty well, it went well, like, I, I, I had nothing to complain about, it's not like the, either of us, I don't think, found the love of our life, um, the one girl that went with me, though, she had a huge crush on this guy. But, um, I was just trying to enjoy myself, because we're doing this to have fun anyway, like she said. I mean, I just wanted to enjoy myself. So, I thought it was a good date, but then the girl I went on the double date with and her roommate sat me down at a Wendy's, and they just, uh, they were being mean to me the whole day. This was after the double date. They, they were being mean to me the whole day, and I asked them, I was like, hey, why why are you being so cold? Why are you why are you being so passive-aggressive today? I just and asked flat out, and they just were like, okay, are we doing this now? Oh, we're doing this now. So it's like they planned something, and then they're like, okay, we're just sick of the way you're acting. And I'm like, what are you talking about? just been really snotty all day and you and, blah, blah, and it's such petty girl drama the girl I went on the double date with uh, she told me you just made me feel like there's not gonna be another date with that guy you were flirting with him and you made me feel like the fifth wheel and I just felt so bad <laughs> and it was the most pathetic thing ever because she wasn't even left out she was this is what happened. I was just being nice to that guy that she went on the date with. I was, I, I was just being myself. I mean, I'm not gonna just ignore him. Like, what does she want? She wants... So, I was just being nice and she took that as I was flirting with him. That's how competitive these Mormons are. They think that any girl, any girl is competition. I had no interest in this guy that she was on the date with and she thought oh my god there's not gonna be another date because rose smiled at him like bitch <laughs> shut the fuck up those are a few weird things about the mormons and i just i felt like making this video i was gonna make it eventually anyway but today i just really felt like it uh but yeah that's my experience so it's not really as creepy it's it's kind of like being in like a click at school really it, it's not for me and i wouldn't suggest joining but it's not like some creepy satanic cult that people make it out to be. It's just it's just like a high school clique, to be honest. So, okay, have a good one. Bye.